So here's the problem. A tire of radius 50 centimeters starts spinning at rest and reaches an angular speed of 250 revolutions per minute in 30 seconds. Okay, the first question is determine the angular acceleration of the tire. And the next one is to find the distance traveled. Okay, now to get the angular acceleration, basically we'll do something, this, the same stuff that we did when we studied 1D motion. Make a chart and figure out all the stuff. Okay, so we do not know delta theta, we do not know omega i, omega f, alpha delta t. Actually, omega i in the problem is given. It starts at rest, so omega i is 0. Omega f, on the other hand, is 250 revolutions per minute. But now what we need to do is convert the 250 revolutions per minute to radians per second. And one revolution is 2 pi radians, so multiply that by 2 pi. And one minute has 60 seconds in it. Okay, So this is simply equal to 500 pi by 60. And then we have the time as 30 seconds. Great. We have all our stuff. And now we can use our first equation and figure out the value of the angular acceleration. Okay. So we have omega f, which is 500 pi by 60 equals 0 plus alpha times 30. And this gives us alpha is equal to 500 pi divided by 1800 radians per second square. <coughs> uh, you can simplify this and obtain the number. Okay, so this gives us alpha. Now, what we also want to know is finding the distance. To find the distance traveled, okay, now you can't really directly find the distance from here. So what we need to first do is find the acceleration, sorry, find the angular displacement in this time. Once we know theta, delta theta, we can find the distance simply by doing r times delta theta because it says clearly that the tire did not slip, which means as the tire uncoils, as it turns, okay, each revolution of the tire corresponds to traveling a distance of one circumference, which is 2 pi radians, okay? So once we get the the total angle, okay, that'll, that multiplied by the radius will end up giving us the distance. So let's figure out the total angle. So first we'll use this equation, delta theta equals omega i delta t plus one half alpha delta t squared. Actually, we could have also used this equation, omega i plus omega f over 2 times delta t. In fact, you know what? I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to use this one. And this gives me equal to 0 plus 250 times 2 pi. So 500 times 2 pi by 60. Okay. This is divided by 2 multiplied by 30. And this is nothing but uh, do, 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 do we have uh, 250 okay so it becomes 125 pi okay is this is the amount of radians and then once we have this we can figure out the value of the distance the distance itself traveled is equal to simply r times delta theta so it is equal to what is it 0.5 times 125 pi, which is 62.5 pi meters. Okay, you can figure out the value, the numerical value, and all that. All right, so that's a simple application.